Also, I'm sure you've heard of a pop-up shop, but what about a pup-up shop? Startup Bark and Company is experimenting with a store where the dogs do the shopping. So how it works is it's a reservation-based system, and five dogs at a time come into this Bark Shop Live play space. They're wearing RFID vests so that the owners can watch through a mobile app which products they're most engaged with. And of course, the app offers a very easy way for those pet parents to buy the products. Now, Americans are going to spend an estimated $62 billion on their pets this year. That's up 4% from last year. It's an area of retail that continues to grow, these stats, according to the American Pet Products Association. Dogs today are much more like kids than they are like a hamster. And so we try to create products and services that really play into this idea that there's been a change in our attitudes to, to, the, to our dogs. We want to be, uh, bring Disney to the dog world, um, so to see. And so, so there's, when none of that has been created, there's just a tremendous amount of innovation available to you. Now, most pet owners probably know Bark and Company for its monthly subscription, Bark Box, which comes with products and treats that actually have been customized for the dog. It still represents 75% of the company's revenue, but they have expanded. They've sold 25 million products to date. Their website has 10 million unique visitors every month. Two of some of the more popular products, at least for the humans, is Dog Nold. And we also have Hillary Kitten, depending, of course, I guess, which way your pet leans. Carl, back to you. <laughs> that is a live shot for the ages right there, Court. Hey, CNBC fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Here you're going to find videos packed with all of the information that you need to be smarter about your finances. You can subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me or the eye right here to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.